Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm excited to bring you another interview uh, with Lizelle Westering. And Lizelle is in a couple of weeks, she's going to give birth to their second child, which is exciting. So please pray for her uh, as you watch this interview and, and for that to go well. Uh, but I know that both she and Mark are big uh, nature enthusiasts. And as I talk to them, uh, it's, it's clear that this is one of the pathways that also helps you connect with God. Uh, maybe you can share a little bit about uh, what, what role and how does that work for you? Hi, yeah. Um, so one of the ways I connect to God is uh, through getting outside, um, which I have after kind of going through this sacred pathways with our church right now, I realize I haven't been actually feeling all that connected with God. And I think that's because I haven't been able to get outside as much as I used to or I would like to just kind of being in the final stages of pregnancy and having a toddler, it's been harder to get out. Um, and I can't really walk that far right now either. So it's a bit harder to get outside where I feel the most connected, um, which is surrounded by trees and not hearing any cars and being really far away. Um, I think the peace and the quiet and the beauty um, really helps me remember that this is all God creation and that really brings a sense of like majesticness and like um that he's a uh, our creator um and that helps me kind of zero in in our relationship and um helps me focus in being able to just connect with him um whether yeah so I really miss going out a little bit more so hopefully I can do that again and um I'm it's like this whole sacred pathway thing has helped me remember I need to also maybe use the other pathways to connect with God when I'm not able to do um, being able, um, when I'm not able to connect with God uh, through nature. Oh, thank you. No, that's uh, I, uh, I, I actually did not even consider that this has been a, a challenge, but it is. I, I know I had the, the same issue. I had a knee injury last summer. Well, it's a same, it's a different issue. Uh, but, uh, but because of that, I, I wasn't able to go out as much for a while and, and I missed it, uh, very much. So I, 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 relate. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, what would, uh, what would you recommend for somebody who is, uh, who wants to get involved, uh, connecting with God through nature better, uh, where it's a good place to start. Maybe how did it start for you? Yeah, I feel like being in BC, we're really lucky, um, to be able to have access to nature so easily um, I think for me I really started to appreciate nature and connecting it with God in university when I refound my passion for being outside um, growing up my parents would always take us camping uh, we did a lot of portaging I mean living in Ontario we have a park and lots of um, lakes so being on the water canoeing um, uh, has just always brought peace and calmness and um I kind of didn't like it for a little bit but then in university yeah we discovered it and as I was exploring my faith I found that whenever I was outside um whether that was outdoor trips with um university friends or with my family I just um was able to again see God's beauty and just take that peace and quiet um and I think that it also a very um important that my electronics or social media um, is a way as well. And it's easy to do that when you're outside because oftentimes you don't have uh, um, service. Um, but yeah, I think when you're outside, just taking the time to stay away from looking at your phone um, and just connect through God, just talking to him. <laughs> Amen. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's totally cool. I, I, where I was, I was doing an interview with Mike Morton yesterday, and, and he said that growing up in BC, it makes you take this for granted easily, how, how, how much beauty there is around. But many of us who, who, who have moved here were like, BC is awesome. Uh, this, is, this is like a, a kid in a candy store uh, for people that love nature. So there's so many, so many opportunities. Uh, yeah, I think... What resonates with me is, as you sharing, is this uh, uh, this this lack of uh, distractions. And when yeah. you're in nature, uh, nature actually takes your attention. 
And, and if, we, if we can actually switch off our phone or, or get away from the coverage, uh, then, uh, then, then it's, it's, it's a good thing. But also, uh, it doesn't, you know, if people are not necessarily hiking enthusiasts or they're not in the best shape, they still can easily go out and do a short walk in some of the nicest places that you can find around here. Uh, so that's, that's also very cool. Well, Lisa, thanks for, uh, thanks for sharing your, your thoughts. Uh, do you, do you plan on taking your kids out as much? I've, I've seen that you guys went on a backpacking trip with Aramis last summer already. Yes, um, we do. We try to get out with him as much as possible. Um, he already loves being outside whenever he's grumpy. The best cure for that is to be outside, whether it's rain or sunshine. That's <laughs> awesome. Maybe, yeah. we should, maybe we should take a, a, a page out of your parenting book. And when I'm, I'm grumpy, I got to go take a walk, which usually works. That's true. My wife says, honey, honey, why don't you go hiking for a minute? <laughs> you know, pick a day and just go. You, you'll, be, you'll be better off and we'll be better off. So, no, that's awesome. Thank you so much for, for sharing your thoughts. And uh, all the best uh, with uh, the last couple of weeks of pregnancy and uh, your, your new baby. So, thank you. For having me. All right.